guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new to my channel my name is Jackie and welcome so hey guys I'm so excited because I had promised you guys a video where I would be redoing my patio and I finally finally finished my little project and I wanted to share that with you guys and for those of you who are subscribed to my channel thank you so much for subscribing I really really appreciate it and if you like this video and you would like to see more of this type of video let me know in the comments down below and if you're not yet subscribed make sure that you guys hit that subscribe button um, but yeah guys I finally finished my little project is I'm so excited because it looks so cozy it looks so pretty and I really hope that you guys enjoy it and I thought it was perfect timing because spring is in the air and I think a lot of people are looking for ideas to decorate their patio when I first started this project I didn't really have an idea of what kind of theme I wanted to go with but um, I saw this magazine from Walmart and it said better homes and then um, I just saw like a nice really cute chair and the colors and everything it just caught my attention so I kind of just went off of that and then I'm um, luckily like when something's in style I feel like a lot of the stores carry similar products so I was able to find a lot of different things at Home Goods, at Target, at Ross, um, even at Goodwill I found a few items so yeah guys everything came together really nice and this is one of the reasons why I really really enjoy having this channel is because now I'm kind of able to film the process of me doing things and then not only do I give you guys some ideas I feel like this will also help my daughter in the future because she always tells me that she loves how I decorate and she loves the ideas that I come up with so now I feel like she could look back on these videos if she ever wants some decorating tips or ideas and yeah guys so I'm really really excited about this video it takes me a lot a lot of time to finish a project but when I finish it it is so worth it and I do take my time because I don't like to rush into things and then things don't end up turning out how I want because I rush them so that's another reason too that it takes me a while and it has taken me a while to post this video but at the end it's all worth it I take my time I get it all together and I get it done so I really hope that you guys enjoy this video and I'm gonna go ahead and play it for you guys and I'll see you guys in a little bit I was inspired by this beautiful picture I saw in a Walmart magazine, so I decided to head to Walmart and grab one of these chairs ASAP. Lucky for me, I found an adult and a kid size. One of my favorite stores to shop at, of course, is Home Goods. You find so many amazing things. I did go a couple different times and I'm happy I did because each time I found different things that would make my patio look lovely. I decided to decorate with some fake plants and found these beautiful pots to put them in. I decided to buy fake plants because I think that it will decorate my patio beautifully and also I don't have time to maintenance real plants and I would hate to see them just die. I found this beautiful bench. I wasn't sure where I was going to place it but just the color and the texture made me want to buy it so I decided to take it home and then I found this matching pillow so I decided to pick it up as well and we'll see what we do with it at home. At Target, I spotted this beautiful sitting area and stay tuned to see which piece I took home. Target is definitely another of my favorite stores. I picked up this beautiful blanket to make my sitting area look a bit more cozy. I ended up finding some unique pieces that I think will bring my patio together. We also made it out to Home Depot and here guys I will be picking up some rocks for some landscaping and we also made a few different trips on different days to this store because we'll be needing a few things from here. This is my five-year-old son, Brandon, and he will be helping me throughout the whole process. I decided to add a little sandbox to my patio, so we're grabbing the sand. And as you guys can see, working out is definitely paying off.
Brandon decided that it was snack time, so I told him he can have it as long as he worked for it. So he did. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys, he's a boss baby. I found a few things at Home Depot and that included some wicker benches. These are super cute, super affordable. I decided to start my project by building a little house that my son got for Christmas. He almost grew it already, but he still is excited about setting it up and finally getting to play with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that first so that he can stay entertained while I do the rest of the projects around the patio. Around my patio, there's this lovely, lovely palm trees, but as you guys can see, it's really hard for me to maintain these gorgeous um, flowers around the palm trees. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do some landscaping here and add rocks around the palm tree and hope that it looks better. This is after we removed all the flowers and then we started to add some rocks. Once again, mommy's little helper to the rescue. And now guys, moving forward to build the egg chairs that I bought from Walmart. I ended up getting a smaller one for Brandon and I also have a bigger one which I will build in a little while. You like it? No, we're gonna leave it out here. After building the egg chairs, I decided to go to this place where they sell bigger rocks just to put add more rocks to my landscape. But the boys decided to play a little golf, but this is what happens when wrestlers play golf. As entertaining as they were, um, yes, we decided to go back home and sell the rocks that I ended up picking out for my palm trees. And now back to my egg chair, but this one is the adult size. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys. How Coming from a person who hates spending, let me tell you guys, these chairs were worth every penny. Just a little cleaning before setting everything out. If you ever wonder why my biceps are so big, well, stop wondering. This is the reason. <laughs> Just kidding.
And now making things a little cozy, we're gonna add these beautiful blankets I got from Target. I would normally have my son help me move this, but he is at wrestling practice and my husband is with him, so gotta take care of business. Now I'm just adding a little details to the rock area. And of course, everything that I do to one side, I also did to the other. So I did want to share that I also went to Ross. I did find a few cute things to add to the patio, but mainly this beautiful rug I'm about to set out. I bought these beautiful rugs at Target, but I must say I found some similar ones at Goodwill. So if you have a chance to visit Goodwill, make sure that you swing by to see if you can find extra pieces that will help make your patio look nice. I also found these doormats at Target and they will go perfectly with the theme that I'm setting out. I'm just going to go ahead and decorate a bit. If you're interested in the outcome, stay tuned. I'm definitely trying to make this patio kid friendly. So I bought this storage boxes at Home Depot and I'm going to build it to make a little storage box so my son could keep all his toys instead of just having them laying around everywhere. This is such a great idea. I'm also starting to think he likes this more than his little house. He's always happy to help out his mama. And now guys, what you all been waiting for, this furniture piece that I bought at Target. I'm going to have to roll it over to the center. And here it is guys, the big egg chair. It's going to match perfectly with my other chairs and I can't wait to see it. I promise you guys, these are so easy to put together and they turn out so beautiful. If you guys have any questions regarding any of these items, including any details as how they turned out or cost or anything else, make sure you guys leave a comment down below. And finally guys, just setting out the benches that I purchased at Home Depot. They look very simple, but once you add some little details like pillows and some cozy blankets, they look amazing. I'm also setting out a little DIY. I purchased these at Hobby Lobby and I will be adding them to my baskets just to make them look a little more interesting. I did go with the bumblebee theme for outdoors, so I hope to find other cute items to tie in the whole theme in my patio. And these next couple items I either purchased at Goodwill or Hobby Lobby, but I always make sure that they are 50% off so that I get a good deal on all my home decor. For my next little project, I ended up buying this swing from Wayfair and I am so happy that I purchased this because my son is gonna be very, very happy to have a little place where he can sit and relax while he also enjoys our new patio. As you guys can see, he is definitely enjoying it. 
just relaxing outdoors. And finally, getting to the sandbox, guys. I also purchased this on Wayfair. I think it was a great purchase. It was very easy to put together. And once again, I had my little helper join in and have some fun while doing it. Credits to my 14-year-old son, Anthony, for helping me build the swing and also carry all these heavy bags of sand prior to his wrestling practice. It turned out amazing and it will also add a nice little feature to our backyard. Welcome to my new cozy patio, amigas y amigos. I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I do. If you guys would like to see how it looks in the evening, stay tuned till the end of this video. So hey guys, um, oh my gosh, right? Like I really, really, really love, love, love how my patio turned out. And as you guys can see, I'm so excited that I'm even like kind of matching um, with my patio, like the colors that I went with and everything. Um, I love it. I enjoy it. As you guys can see, Brandon is so, so excited. I feel like it just tied everything together because it's so kid friendly. 
I'm so glad that I ordered the swing and the sandbox and then his little house that he got for Christmas like I mentioned in the video he almost grew it already but he doesn't even mind he's just excited um, he's hoping to have his little cousins come over soon other than that um, I do have another few little projects coming up so if you guys like this video make sure that you guys are subscribed so that you guys catch my next project and make sure that you guys hit that notification bell so you guys are updated when I post my next video um, I thinking I'm thinking of redoing a whole little room um, that used to be a little office into a glam room and also my little like business room because I'm thinking of starting a small little business of resale I've been wanting for a while to start this little business but um, I just haven't had the time and now I do have some time in my hands so I'm thinking of doing that and if I redo the whole little room I want to show you guys how bad it looks right now and how beautiful I'm gonna make it look so if you guys are interested in that kind of video don't forget to hit the subscribe button guys I posted a video about two weeks ago and about 2,000 people have watched it and I don't know why you guys are not subscribing you guys are over here watching my videos but then you guys are not clicking that subscribe button that is not fair so if you guys are watching this video and you guys like it make sure that you guys hit that subscribe button but if you guys don't think you guys are going to return it's okay i understand but yeah guys i'm just kidding oh yeah guys and if you guys are interested in seeing how my patio looks during the night um make sure that you guys stay tuned for that i will be inserting that video i really really appreciate you guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time adios amigos